All right, so we're making a new bracket for this dump wagon, barge wagon. This bracket uh, broke off there. We lost it, so we're making a new one. Uh, got the other one to go off of over here. It just bends around and has a hoop on top. I'm gonna weld a pipe on top instead of a hoop, I think. But got the forge going, foundry, heating up that piece of metal to uh, bend it. That way we got the right bend around the pipe and or around the frame. And then I'll be doing some welding. All right, so not the prettiest weld, but it'll hold. It's not holding much. I got the metal bent around and hardened anyways from forging. So now we just got to drill a couple holes. All right, it's pretty late. It's well after midnight. That's that. I, uh, up underneath there, right there, right there, uh, there. I welded a plate for that to sit on, forged that around, got it on there, and then welded that around there because this had split so it was pulling apart they're not pretty welds i am by no means a welder so welding a circle uh i think i did pretty decent it uh might hold i got a bead all the way around obviously the top isn't bad but then the bottom is bad looks bad at least might hold we'll see better than what it was because it was just broke apart so now between the new bracket holding it the bracket on the other side came out and my welds right there hopefully the feed wagon stays together we're probably going to end up using it for silage because you can pull this pin and this pin and the back gate dumps and it's got a hoist under it and now that the hinges are back on we're good or should be good to go uh just gotta hook the hydraulic cylinder up like i said it's late it's still humid so i'm gonna get this probably out of the barn so it's ready to go back wherever we need it and call it a night all right wagons out of the shed got a hydraulic hose hooked up 
ready to go. 856. Silage. Good to go. Gonna go out and chop some silage. Got the 856. John Deere 34 silage chopper and the uh, barge wagon that I was just working on. I got my camera. Get you guys a little time lapse of picking silage, chopping silage. All right, so got it empty. I just had to climb up in there. Once I got it moving, it went all right. Cows are all happy. This is plenty of hay for, or silage for a couple of days. I mean, they still have pasture. This just supplements the pasture. There's Dingleberry. He doesn't care. So. We'll leave the cows alone. Even the calves are trying to munch on it. Nice sweet silage. We only harvest what we feed because we don't have a silo or pit silos or anything to store it. So we just feed it the day we harvest it. You can feed the green silage that way. So thanks for watching. As always, have a good one.